So we're back at the ThinksCon 2016 conference here in Amsterdam, and we have a new guest, uh, and he has been on stage, I think. Uh, so who are you, and uh, and what do you do? Yeah, my name is uh, Taco. I'm an um, I live in Amsterdam. I um, and I'm a, a co-founder of FanMove Commuter Bicycles. FanMove. Uh, I'm from Amsterdam as well, so I, I know them. But yeah. uh, for for the broader audience, what what is the uh, what what kind of a bicycle is it? Uh, we produce, uh, we design, produce, and sell um, uh, commuter bicycles. So it's 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 bicycles for uh, what we call the Dutch way of cycling. So that's not uh, Sunday uh, uh, in the afternoon in the park, but really using the bike as um, as a way of transport. So as an as alternative for cars or. Uh, um, or subways or uh, for public transport. So the, um, the, the, the people in Amsterdam, uh, I think for 55% fi of, the, of the commutes is done by bike. We think that, uh, that, that that is a great thing, that it improves the city, that it improves the health of the, its inhabitants. So um, we would love uh, people in Paris and L London, New York, Denmark, uh, Copenhagen, uh, around the globe to cycle just as much as we do in Amsterdam. And we try to, do the, uh, to, try to produce the bicycles to do so. So, um, um, well, that's obviously a great story, and, and, uh, uh, but you're here at an Internet of Things uh, conference. So what does yeah. a, a commutable bicycle uh, manufacturer at an Internet of Things conference? Good question. Uh, last um, uh, spring, we introduced um, two new bikes, uh, which are almost the same. It's called the Electrified and Smart Bike. And uh, these are bikes with an, um, uh, an integrated electronic lock, a Bluetooth, conne Bluetooth connection, uh, a GSM connection, uh, beautiful integrated uh, display, and they come with an app. So what you can do with it? If uh, first of all, is they're great for for bike sharing. So you can open it with a, with the a remote control or with your smartphone app. So uh, more people can use the same bike, which is great for hotels or uh, uh, companies who want to share bikes, all kind of things. But I think I believe the greatest thing on on both the electrified and the smart bike is that we, um, if it's stolen, you can report it small stolen in the smart bike app then um, uh, the bike doesn't work anymore, the, the lock doesn't work anymore, the lights are not working anymore, and uh, the bike starts transmitting its position to, uh, uh, to uh, our headquarters, and a big siren uh, turns off at our company, and we have a team of bike hunters who go look after uh, your, uh, your bike. So uh, around the globe they try to uh, retrieve stolen bikes. 18 bikes will st were stolen until now, and we managed to find 16 back of them. Yeah, that's uh, that's impressive. I, I, I understand it's, uh, it's, uh, that when the alarm goes off, it doesn't go to the police, but you have your own squad of, uh, of nasty uh, nasty guys that are uh, trying to find the bike and return it. Yeah, they're not nasty. They're uh, <laughs> great guys. They're uh, lovely, cute guys and girls. And uh, what we do is we try to uh, localize the bike. Uh, sometimes uh, online, sometimes in real life. And if we have localized it, if we can see the bike and make actual contact with it, then we call the police uh, to uh, to get it back for us. So, uh, and that always works. Uh, as I told, we have we uh, 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 these are two bikes. So the elect elect electrified and the smart bike. The electrified is electric assisted, and the smart bike is a regular bike. So it's it's just a traditional bike. But both come with the Bluetooth, the Vodafone GSM, and the electronic lock. So how's the reception so far? Yeah, it's awesome. It completely changed our company. Uh, uh, we were already on a steep growth path. Um, we sell our bikes around the globe now. But uh, this uh, electrified, especially electrified, um, sold ten times over the expectations. So it's yeah, it's it's growing like crazy now. Very busy uh, hiring great new people uh, and try to uh, keep up with the growth. Yeah. You're also uh, famous for uh, uh, gimmicks uh, uh, with uh, the, the boxes, uh, the bikes yeah. come in and things like that. Can you share that with us? Yeah, it was a great story. Uh, we had a lot of uh, transport issues, especially in the U.S. 
and uh, the bike couriers were very rough in uh, oh, the bike couriers the uh, the couriers from uh, the traditional shipping companies were very rough with our boxes so um, <laughs> we sat our on the around the table with our creative team and started uh, to thinking how we what we could do about it so we decided to print a television on the on the boxes and it really helped it reduced the shipping by 70 to uh, shipping damage by 70 to uh, 80 percent um, so it was great, and uh, then we already using that for two years, and then uh, uh, journalists of the Wall Street Journal uh, came by accident in our shop in New York, and he saw the boxes, and he tweeted around it, and then it went viral around the globe, and everybody is, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, telling about it, and uh, yeah, so it's great. So that's a great story, but now now the transportation companies know it, and uh, there's the, they're pretty rude with the bikes as usual. I don't know. Are they are rude with all uh, televisions too? A lot of uh, probably a lot of damaged televisions now in uh, in transport. I don't know. It's a uh, um, we're not sure. Probably, yeah. Back to the uh, um, the electrify, but mostly the the, the connected uh, uh, bicycle you have. Um, um, is is that just a one off, or are you building a platform or other things? Uh, can other people develop devices that connect to your bicycle? Other things like that. No, it's definitely not a one-up. It's the startup of the new uh, the new direction of our entire company, and I'm pretty pretty confident that we won't sell any um, not smart. Let's call it stupid. Uh, we won't sell any stupid bikes anymore after two, 2018. Uh, so all bikes will be connected after 2018, 2019, maybe. Uh, so it's a new direction. It's a uh, the platform uh, we have uh, is. Uh, we just started um, uh, discovering the opportunities we can do with it. We are working on some great projects with some great partners. Cannot tell too much about it, but it has to be s uh, yeah, things like uh, connecting to each other, uh, um, surpassing uh, rain uh, showers, um, the, uh, yeah, the all kind of uh, combining with other way of transport. Uh, let's take the bike the first few kilometers, then move to a train and maybe back to an Uber. Uh, so uh, you can do all kind of crazy things with the uh, with the platform, and we've just started discovering the opportunities. But it's definitely the direction for Vermo where we go, and do we do so because we believe bike theft is really a big issue in the bicycle market. It's not about um, just the irritation of your bike gets stolen. It's a bigger issue. It's the reason why everybody in, for example, Amsterdam rides on old crappy bikes. It's a reason that people uh, are scared to buy an expensive bike and use it in the city. So people use crappy bikes or buy uh, crappy bikes and they throw it away after uh, a few months. We believe if we can solve bike theft, uh, if we can fight, defeat bike theft, that people will invest in better bikes and they will start riding even more. And uh, so uh, bike theft is a is really important issue to overcome. Okay, I can imagine it. Although I, I, I do have the feeling that I see more new bicycles, uh, I have seen more new bicycles uh, in the last few years, but maybe that's also because uh, bike theft has dropped in, in Amsterdam, so uh, I'm not really sure if that is the case, but somehow I feel that I see more new bicycles. Uh, um, but apart from that, so will it be an open platform uh, where other third-party developers can work on as well? Uh, not yet, but uh, we hope to open it up in the future. At the moment, we, um, we're we still a small company. Uh, we are, we, 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 uh, we've grown a lot the last few years, but we're still pretty small and we don't have investors, so we have to cope with the resources we have and at this moment we tried everything to make this happen because already uh, a bike that is w uh, opened electronically and it's fully track and, uh, uh, traceable uh, yeah it was a very tough project for us uh, so our first focus was to get it uh, on the market to get it working to get it w uh, to get it on the market for a reasonable price and uh, i think now uh, we managed to do s uh, to do that and now we have to see yeah, how we can, uh, what we can, uh, how we can combine with others and uh, and and open the platform for others. We we are we still have to uh, investigate the opportunities. Right. So, and if you if you think that bike theft is a, is a big issue and you create a new kind of uh, a bicycle lock and lockdown system, uh, uh, that must be really really secure. How did you work that out? 
Yeah, we uh, we work with great partners to uh, um, to work that out. I've also believe that it's very important that uh, the bike is uh, uh, has the Vodafone GSM connection. So if um, somebody managed to to hack it or or anything, we can update uh, the bikes. And so uh, if there are mistakes, we can uh, um, we can solve them. Um, that's the most important important thing on this, I think, because our, mar our bikes will be probably on the market for a few years. You don't know what technology will be there in the, in, in the next 10 years. So uh, the fact that it's updatable is, uh, for us is very important. I hope so too, and I hope it's, it's different uh, from Apple, where uh, it says uh, at a certain point your bike is too old and we're not going to update your software yeah. anymore. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the, 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 the spirit of our company. We uh, try to uh, produce bikes that uh, last a little bit longer than the average bike, especially in the city. So, it will be, uh, if you have designed the bike that they are now, so that they are lasting a few, uh, at least a few years, and that you have to uh, you have to throw them away from the software. So, we try. We yeah. So the, uh, you also mentioned that that there's, there's I think there's data collected uh, uh, by the bicycle that can be uh, can be used. But what kind of data do you collect, and what do you do with it? At the, at the moment, we don't uh, collect data. Uh, that means that uh, we the bike only start transmitting its position um, when uh, when it's stolen. Uh, we did that out of security reasons. Uh, that's also a thing we have. We had to keep it simple to get this on the market because a lot of companies tried before us and they all failed. But so we had to we, we had to stay focused. And now uh, it's time to can to see what we can do uh, with that data. If we can get some more out of the bikes, for example, via not via the the Vodafone GSM, but via the Bluetooth connection and then via the via the smartphone of the uh, the consumer. Um, so we are starting with that. Um, we are try to stay in close connection with our customers um, to ask them what they want and what where they uh, what what they are happy to share uh, and what not. Which um, so yeah, we just started there, and uh, that was not the goal of the of the, of this bike to collect data. The goal is to uh, defeat bike theft and to make a bike that it's shareable and uh, and easy to to. Learn. I think that uh, well, the, the, the local government, the Amsterdam city, uh, Ger Bron, probably CTO of Amsterdam, is very interested in, uh, in, in in the data that you could collect. For instance, I'm always very happy on my bicycle when I have to uh, ride the streets and uh, it has been raining and uh, the streets are too wet. Uh, uh, so I would love to to already uh, ask for a new sensor on the FMO. So maybe yeah. I consider buying it that will sense uh, which streets are too wet to bike on so that uh, the municipality can do something about it. Would it be a good suggestion? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a great idea. I think it's uh, also a great idea if our uh, bikes can uh, sense, if, uh, can measure the air pollution. I saw uh, some great projects here uh, on, the, on the market, on the, uh, how do you say the things called market? And um, uh, it would be great to uh, show the government how polluted the city is, and how, what <laughs> what the what the effect of the cars on uh, is on that on cyclist. Uh, that and wet roads, uh, yeah, are probably two of the most important things we have to share with the government. Yeah, you already mentioned that it is uh, now easier to share your bicycle, uh, and uh, Amsterdam is also famous for the, what they used to call the the, the white bicycle yeah. plan. Uh, uh, are we going to see a revival of the white bicycle plan? You already see a, a revival of the white bicycle plan everywhere outside Amsterdam. I mean, there are uh, new bicycle sharing systems <coughs> popping up every week. Uh, every major city outside the Netherlands has bike sharing now, and I think the Dutch always thought that we already have so much bikes. We need you don't need bike sharing, and then uh, the OV feeds the, the the local uh, bike sharing of the um, of the train. Uh, how do you say train company? The Dutch public transport company started, <laughs> and it was a big success. Everybody agrees now that it's a big success. So there is a market for bike sharing in the Netherlands too, uh, to everybody's surprise. Um, I w and I I think uh, we we um, we. 
we opened up and uh, we launched a uh, bike sharing system uh, with Synthes uh, yesterday. It is about bike. Sh- it's a uh, Synthes is a bus company, uh, and uh, together with them we started a bike sharing. It's called Kio Bikes, a bike sharing on bus station. It's for move bikes, to, uh, but Synthes technology. And uh, so yes, we will see more bike sharing in uh, in the Netherlands, and, and we will see it as a com- probably as a combination with public transport because the combination of bike sh- uh, sharing and public transport that's the real interesting thing. Uh, bike sharing can improve the public transport. I agree, and, and uh, especially Dutch railroads should uh, should buy for most instead of these uh, shitty bikes they have now, because uh, and that could also help them to solve the problem that when you go to a railway station and there's no bike left, and you probably would have the system uh, uh, to help them localize the bicycles and make sure that they're the, the right amount of bicycles on the correct station. Yeah, if they would buy smart bikes, and all the smart bikes are connected, then we could uh, know where all the bikes are, and they can also lock it uh, with their uh, with the same pass they have to to enter the train. So that that's that's a great opportunity. Yeah, uh, but uh we, we are only on the start of of those things i mean in uh, uh china uh, two companies j- just invested one 500 million in bike sharing the other 200 million investment in bike sharing uh, so uh, that's around the globe everybody is very interested interested in uh, in this field and uh, what's happened we as for move we try to uh, stay a little bit behind we are focusing on producing and uh, improving uh, the bikes and we try to to seek the right partners for the sharing part so this is the synthesis project uh, we do now is a great p- with Kio bikes it's a great pro- uh, they do, uh, take care of the uh, maintenance and uh, and uh, and the software and all everything and we m- take care of the bikes and that's how we w- as a company want to uh, th- that's what our role uh, should be okay thank you very much you're welcome thanks Thank you.